Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video, it's, it's pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think it was that bad. And then I like started gathering all my things and I was like, this is why you don't need to buy any more makeup. So, I'm gonna stop blabbering, show you guys what I bought. So I have these great containers. I bought them to sort out my shit so I knew what to film what stuff you know I have to film with and stuff like that and yeah it's it's bad it's so bad okay I did pick up some skincare there's gonna be skincare peppered all over this video because I've been complaining about how dry my skin is so I decided I needed a new cleanser and I actually have this one in my shower which is almost running out this is the deep cleanse by Tatcha and <laughs> I kept putting off buying this because I wanted to place an order with the Pat McGrath foundation and stuff like that and I ended up not being able to wait so I did buy this but then in the meantime Ulta sent me a $10 off a $50 purchase and so I decided to grab this. This is the Dermalogica Ultra Calming Cleanser and this one just spoke to me because it said it was gentle. It is a pH balanced non-foaming cleanser. Helps calm and cool redness and also helps fortify skin and yeah it just sounds like a good you know, facial cleanser, and I've never really tried anything from Dermalogica, so I did buy both of those cleansers, and I haven't used either of them yet. Well, I've used the Tatcha one, which I really like, so we'll see how the Dermalogica one does. And then with my Ulta order, since the Ordinary is now available at Ulta, I picked up the Natural Moisturizing Factors plus HA surface hydration formula by The Ordinary and this basically just sounded like a moisturizer so it just says apply as needed and you actually get a ton of product I think this was like eight dollars so again I do need to try this out I did pick up some other products for hydration and that seems to be like a good combination so I don't want to add more stuff to my face right now and like overdo it and then I also picked up this guy because I've seen so many people use this as a mask. This is their AHA 30% BHA Peeling Solution 10 Minute Exfoliating Facial. So this is that like vampire looking thing. It's like red and I'm sure you guys have seen it on like Instagram and stuff like that. I've definitely seen my friends use it. So I'm curious to try that but I'm also a little bit terrified because it's like very specific and says like don't put it on your face for longer than 10 minutes if you want your face to fall off. So keeping all of that in mind and then I picked up some shadows or some more shadows from the brand JD Glow. Oh my god these are stunning and then these are their multi-chromes that they had so all of these bigger their galaxy shadows were on sale for like four dollars and i have some that i picked up originally and then i just wanted the rest of them so i just ordered the rest the ones i didn't have and then i also ordered their multi-chromes i haven't played with these yet let me know if you guys want a swatch party just showing you guys those and then with that order i also picked up these glitter liners from them how pretty are these so we have drip ammunition and green apple so pretty and they just look so beautiful and they were on sale so i was like give me give me give me give me give me so very exciting i already posted a video on these two palettes comparing them with the palettes that they were dupes of this is the goddess palette and the daydream palette by alter ego and they were kind enough to send these to me and honestly I think these are pretty fabulous I don't think they dupe the texture especially the goddess palette doesn't like 100% dupe the gold palette this one I think is a pretty convincing dupe but they're still very good quality I was actually very impressed you guys know not the biggest fan of being like oh buy a dupe it's fine but I, I mean I understand that not everyone wants to spend a hundred and something dollars on a Natasha Denona palette and $65 on a Huda palette so I'm not here to judge you guys and so I hope you don't judge me I just thought it was the perfect opportunity for me to present something to my audience if they wanted like the high-end version but couldn't afford it I thought this was a great way for us to talk about some affordable dupes I picked this one up because of a sale 
I didn't need to buy this. This was so naughty. This is the Artisan Palette by Suva Beauty. You guys know I've talked about Suva before. They're a Canadian brand and they were doing a really good sale so I bought that because I got the palette and four of their Hydra liners for like 50 bucks. It's terrible but I really just, I really, this is so bad. I placed this whole order to get this Hydra liner in the shade Keanu Leaves because I just thought that was hilarious and you guys know I'm like obsessed with the shade green. So of course my smart brain decides let me just buy the whole bundle just so I can get this green Hydra liner which I mean it's a nice shade of green but it's definitely not it's definitely not worth like me putting in such a big order so I do feel a little bit bad about myself for doing that but it is what it is I got the shade my jam watermelon felon and taffy so one day I just want to sit on camera and paint my face with the hydro liners they're such a cool formula they're water activated and you can use them as liner you can use them as face paints there's just so many cool things you can do with them and some of them glow in the dark so if you're planning on going to like black light bowling or something you might want to pick those up you guys are gonna laugh, but I placed a BH Cosmetics order. I'm actually really upset with myself because I'm gonna show you something else that I thought I was buying and I didn't buy, which I'm kind of low-key mad about, but I figured if I was gonna place a BH order, I'm gonna buy um, the other Zodiac palettes. They just launched the Leo. I missed the Leo, but I bought Cancer. This is the one that somebody, I think Angelica was like, that looks like Cancer. <laughs> um, this is not very me at all, but I'm currently like collecting these so I figured you know what so what if it pushes me outside my comfort zone this is Gemini did we like Gemini I don't remember what Gemini looked like okay there's a cool yellow in there so I'm interested to play with that don't click out of this video because I bought BH Cosmetics okay guys I know people hate these palettes they think they're super boring I don't know I started collecting them and then I was like placing an order anyway so I bought them all <gasps> no Ooh, that's bad here's Taurus it's broken so I better take a picture it takes them so long to send stuff over I wonder if this is even worth like emailing them about but here's the Taurus palette it's kind of broken so I'm just gonna ah that was a mess yeah okay so those are the new palettes I picked up and then I saw my friend Annette's makeup corner pay play with this little palette I think this was eight bucks from them oh this is so cute oh it's so little this is a little illusion palette I did not realize how tiny these pans were it's kind of adorable I might just put this in a giveaway I don't know why why this is this is why I need to like stay away from the BH website the worst part of the whole situation is I didn't even get what I wanted because I wanted okay where is that stuff oh it's on the floor I'll show you in a second it's a long story okay I did pick up some new stuff from melt I got this on their 4th of July sale this is their blueprint stack and it was uh what like 30 bucks so I thought, hello, good deal. Um, and it's actually really cute. I can definitely see myself playing with these shades. And I'm not a huge fan of the Melt Stack, so I wanted to try it out and see if there was any formula change because the one stack I purchased a long time ago, I didn't really like. So, yeah. And then I got this blush light in the shade Sundown. I've already used this in a video. This is, like, one of the most beautiful blushes I have ever seen. It's so glowy. I saw so glowy and beautiful, and I got that for 15 bucks during their sale. And then I got Genesis because it came to Sephora, and you bet your ass. Oh, please, God. Okay, it's not broken. I bought this because it was, like, glowy and peachy and orangey and, like, heavenly. So, yeah, these suckers were expensive. I was talking to Angie today, and she actually told me she bought both of them, too. So, Spoiler, sorry, uh, but we were both really excited about those melt blushes or highlights or whatever. I'm going to use it as a blush. 
that's all I have to say about that. I bought the Lion King palette. This is their collab with Sir John and Luminous. I know a lot of people were like talking about this being like a pyramid scheme, which I totally understand and empathize with, but I bought this at Ulta, so I was like, I don't know about the pyramid scheme. I really want this palette. And it's honestly like hella bomb. Like all the looks I've created with this, I love so, so much. And we're going to go see Lion King on Tuesday. And this packaging is adorable. And honestly, it's such a great palette. I don't know. You know, maybe you don't want to support Pyramid Schemes, but it's a really nice palette. So I thought I'd tell you guys. So this is my Gimme Glow Green palette. And I talked about this shade in my Will I Bite video, but here's the shade Limeade. This is a new shadow that I picked up from them. It's gorgeous and I need to film. I want to do a video with that palette and show you guys the looks that I can create with it. I did pick up the Alyssa Edwards palette during the Macy's sale. I got it for 15% off. Here's what it looks like. It's untouched. So again, need to make a video. Just got this in the mail. I totally caved. I wasn't going to buy this. But then everyone was like making videos about it and I was like so curious. Again, it's a teeny tiny little palette. This is the Natasha Denona Tropic palette and honestly I did only want the bottom row which is why I didn't buy the big palette when it went on sale over like Thanksgiving or something. So I'm happy she did the small palette and put it in a affordable price tag for us. And I did pick up this guy. This is by the brand Maybe Cosmetics. They have a bunch of different like country or city themed palettes and I was looking at a bundle but then I was like, Karen, don't be a savage, just buy one. And so I picked up Tokyo because the shades look really fun. And I've worn that palette once or twice so far and I do like it. I want to film a video kind of showing you guys how the colors work. I did show this in a video. This is the Rustic Glam by Dominique Cosmetics. Another fun summer launch for her brand. Super cute. Picked up the Juicy Olive palette by Give Me Glow. I have a swatch party video on this palette. I have not used this one on my eyes yet so I'm gonna do a video on that. And then I also picked up the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette. This one I've actually used a few times and it's gorgeous and I want to make a video so keep an eye out for that. I have filmed a first impressions video on the Jawbreaker palette. Here it is in all its glory. This palette scared the living shit out of me when I saw it come out and I was like oh my god I'm not gonna I'm not gonna want that palette. I'm not gonna know what to do with it. I decided to take a chance and buy it so I could see it for myself and I actually really like it so far. I've used quite a few shades. I've used like Orange Juice, which is a nice shade, Lemon Drop. I used F-U-C-K. That's such a beautiful shade. It's like a bright, bright coral. So this is a pretty fun palette. Don't be scared of it like I was. If you want it, definitely get it. So remember the boo-boo that I told you guys I made when I was shopping on the BH Cosmetics website, which is now making me resent BH more and more and more. So BH came out with these three new palettes. They're called like the travel palettes. And they did like a Bali, a Greece, and some other country. And the day those palettes launched, they had this like PR box on their site. So I was like, cool, I'll just pick up the box because I get a little bit of a deal. Uh, lo and behold, I ordered the wrong ones. I didn't realize that these were the old palettes. So instead of getting like Bali, I got Hawaii. I got, oh wait, not Bali. I don't remember. Barcelona? Something. Okay. So I got Hawaii, Bali, and London. And I'm so pissed because these are not the palettes I thought I was getting. I thought I was getting the new ones, which were like brighter, more fun. And so I'm just like really sad, especially because I really wanted Greece. Because Grease was the face palette and it just looked like it had glowy blushes and instead I got stuck with this one. Which like it's not bad but it's not what I wanted. And then I tried to see if BH Cosmetics does returns. Well once I put in like what I wanted to return they were going to give me $30 back because they were going to charge me $13 for shipping. Um, they like discounted the item saying that like I had gotten a deal on it and I was like I would rather keep this and give this to somebody than send it back and only get 30 bucks. So I'm really pissed off about BH and now come to find out my palette, the Taurus palette is broken too. So that's really fucking aggravating. <laughs> uh, but kind of a plus for you guys because I'll probably give those palettes away because I don't want to use them and 
they'll just lie in my collection. They're not the ones I wanted, so that's kind of irritating. Everyone's been buying these after Desi Perkins talked about using one. I feel like this is too big for my head. And as you can see, I haven't actually opened the box and tried to use it, but I was just so curious, so I bought it. But this is from Amazon, so I will try it out and let you guys know. Let me know if you've picked one up. I swear I saw so many people buying them because of her. Okay, so this is the other thing I bought during the Melt 4th of July sale. You guys, this thing, I, I placed that order at like 4 a.m. because I got up to go to the bathroom. And I saw that they were doing this huge sale. And Scott Barnes has been on Tart. Tati's channel recently and he mentioned this and I was like "Ooh, that'd be cool and these were ten dollars on melt on 4th of July and I even saw like the comment section some people were like moms and they were saying hey I bought this for my kids crayons like so this pouch is like a pencil book so when you travel like as a makeup artist you can stick all your lip liners your eyeliners and things like that and I can't remember how much this retails for originally but I feel like for ten dollars I like freaking lucked out and I have to do a friend's makeup for her wedding in September so I was like yes please score so beautiful so yeah I can't believe I picked this up for ten bucks from melt and I feel like it was such a good deal and it came with this beautiful little bag with a little note written on it so I really appreciate that. I also did pick up a Jeffree Star makeup bag. This thing is freaking beautiful. Even my husband saw it sitting on my vanity and commented how cute this was. I think this came out this colorway came out with the Alien palette and I don't know it just felt like the right time to pick up one of these bags it is really spacious I'm kind of making this my grab-and-go bag it's kind of empty right now but yeah I kind of keep it in my vanity and I want it to be like ready to go so if I need to go somewhere in a hurry and I want to bring my makeup with me I want to have like a bag that's always packed and I'm gonna use that bag to be my designated pack makeup bag um, and then I got another basket oh my goodness so let me show you what else I got from the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker collection. I got this um, Jawbreaker makeup bag. This is so cute. It's like a faux leather and it's got the paint splatter and it's cute. So I will definitely be traveling with that. And of course, I wanted the mirror. I don't have a Jeffree Star mirror. And so I thought this would be fun. I'm actually realizing that I don't like holding a mirror while I film. So <laughs> maybe that was a bad buy. Something for you guys to think about if you're planning on picking up that particular mirror and then I bought some other things okay I bought this from Ulta it's like a little brush holder again this was something Scott Barnes had mentioned I think there's a brand that actually like pioneered this but I just bought this from Ulta and it was $12 so you can just stick your brush ferrules in there is that the ferrule no the stem I don't know and it'll just all stand up, which is soups handy. Next thing I bought from Ulta is the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Longwear Foundation and Concealer. I did put this on in a video and showed you guys. I really like this foundation so far. I've been giving it a break because I've been using this one from the drugstore. This is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Protective Makeup Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Antioxidant Enriched Pollution Protecting foundation for 330 toffee is the shade and I've been pretty tan this summer I got burnt over 4th of July so this is a decent shade match and it's actually the foundation I have on today I also picked up from the drugstore this flower beauty miracle matte universal finishing powder Andrea Mattigliano has been talking about their other powder I think this is the translucent shade they didn't have any of the color powders in my store so I just bought this one to try out because she said the other ones are definitely a dupe to the Charlotte Tilbury powder so I'm definitely excited. I picked up the shade Raw Chocolate from Maybelline. This is their matte um, lipsticks. They have so many of these in the drugstore and this shade you guys I am so obsessed with. I heard Hannah Louise post and talk about this on one of her videos and I was like I've never heard of raw chocolate and her and I like the same colors when it comes to nudes so I thought I would take a chance and try it out and I love it and I think it works really well with my skin tone so if you're not a pale princess like Hannah and you're tan like me that color still works and I think it's beautiful. I wanted to try this again because I heard somebody talk about oh I saw hot miss Ness Vanessa here on YouTube she did a like a makeup look and I watched the whole thing 
And she used the Instant Age Rewind Corrector Multi-Usage. I don't know. This is in the shade Sable and it's their concealer. I used to own this and I hadn't bought it in a while and I was at Walmart and I was like, let me try it again because it looks so good on Vanessa that I wanted to try it. So I bought it and then Vanessa recommended this to me because again, I've been complaining about hydration and I don't know what this is except that it's a urea moisture lotion. It's like a liquid but she has me pressing it into my skin as my first step in my skincare routine at night. And sometimes in the morning. Do I use this in the morning too? I think I use this in the morning too. Super nice and great recommendation. Pretty affordable as well. Picked up some things from ColourPop. I haven't even used these yet. These are the Just a Tint uh, little lippies. I got the Cherry and Bright set. And I picked this one up because it just looks so cute. This packaging is very deceiving. This is the shade... What is this color? Oh. Maui Wowie. It looked like such a pretty coral on their website. So that's what it looks like on me. I'm sure you guys will see this in a future video. And then I got more things. I got these guys. I picked up these from ColourPop as well. I really, really liked the other blushes from the Zodiac collection. So I picked up Lunar has it and I need space and honestly these do look very light so I don't know if they'll work out for me but I'm happy I have them because if they don't work on me I can still use them on my friends and also in the winter time when I'm lighter it might work yeah this looks ashy as heck on me right now so we'll see how it goes you know it's sometimes I do make up on other people so if it doesn't work on me I'll use it on somebody else. And then I wanted to try their powder. This is their no filter sheer pressed powder in medium dark. So that's what that looks like. And that is everything for this basket. Okay, next is more skincare I picked up. Uh, this is a recommendation again from Vanessa. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I picked this up on Amazon and she just said it was a better hyaluronic acid than the one from good jeans which is the one i had been using so i listened to her and i bought it i bought this guy because there were some bloggers that were raving about tula skincare they're all like the like to know it ones i don't know why i follow these girls because they get shit for free and they're not like beauty enthusiasts they just are very beautiful and they like use a little bit of makeup and then they give reviews about products and I'm like I'm not trying to be a fashion blogger so why are you trying to be a beauty blogger unless you genuinely like did the research but you know they're just getting stuff for free sorry I can go on a rant about that some other time but anyway this is the Tula Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm this thing is very cooling so if you have sensitive eyes I would say watch out and it doesn't really hydrate that much so I'm a little bit unimpressed by the whole situation to be very honest and then I picked up two extra eyebrow brushes from Anastasia because I really like to use these and I had a little coupon so I bought some new ones to put in my makeup kit and I'm running out of my brow powder duo from Anastasia so I picked this up in the shade chocolate and that's what I use on my brows to kind of fill in the front and just give it a little more fill so it doesn't look so I don't know I like having thick brows I'm still into that so that's what I use those products for okay last bag so some stuff I picked up so I picked this up when I met Angie at the Mall of America we went to Morphe and they had Lunar Beauty and I've already told the story a hundred times but how cute is this freaking packaging and then this is the highlighter this is the Lunar Beauty highlighter in the shade Venus super beautiful I've been wearing this a ton in videos so just so you guys know I did pick that up while I was with her and then I also bought a liquid lipstick from their store see I kept the bag because I wanted to show you guys but this is the shade spicy and I don't think I have this color from them I have almost all of their liquid lipsticks that they sell at Ulta uh, but they have a few more that are available on the Morphe website and you guys know I love a good terracotta orange shade so yeah I bought that and I love this formula and it's so affordable so I had to have it also Miss March Samantha March 
did come out with a collaboration from Ofra. I've already filmed a video on this, so she came with, out with a highlighter, and then she curated a set with her favorite liquid lipsticks. The other ones in my purse, I believe the shade Los Olas is in my purse because I love that shade. So yeah, she did such a good job. Congrats, Samantha, on your collaboration with Ofra. Last few things. Okay, let's show you guys this. I picked up the donut, what is this called? I do not care palette from Sephora. This is a Violet Voss little, little guy and this color combo was so cute and so fun for the summer so I did pick it up and I believe I filmed a swatch party video and I've also used this on my eyes. It's pretty good. I wouldn't say you need to run out and get it but it's a cute palette. I also picked this from this up from the uh, MAC Ignite Wonder collection. This is the face palette. Oh my god, this is so good. I love the packaging, first of all, and then the blushes and the highlighters in here are stunning. So if you want a blush highlighter palette that is tan girl friendly and I think you can get these on sale too, so keep an eye out because it's honestly a bomb face palette from MAC. Really, really like it. And here's what the box looks like. I did pick up these two Milani palettes. I already filmed a video. This is the Gilded Jade palette and the Gilded Noir. So if you want to see swatches and the look I created, I will try and remember to link that video for you. Otherwise, just look for it, okay? It's not that hard. And then two palettes that I picked up. I got the California Love palette. How long has this been out for? And I have not used it yet. And I low-key regret buying this. But you know how I am. I see something on ColourPop and I'm like, oh, it's so affordable. Let me just buy it. The Goblin. The Goblin gets me. So I keep trying to tell myself, like, until you use all of this, you're not going to buy any more. And then I buy more. So I've been pretty good, though. If you saw my Will I Buy video yesterday, um, who knows when this video is going to go up. But I made a Will I Buy video and I was talking about all the products that launched on Friday and how I kept adding them into my cart and closing the browser because I was like, I'm not buying more makeup until I use up the makeup I have. So this is the Whale Song Palette by Menagerie Cosmetics. They've already launched a new palette. The boat has left the harbor and I'm still here like, look at this new palette I bought from Menagerie Cosmetics. No, it's not new anymore. 80,000 people have filmed videos on it and I will make my video and I will be late to the party, fashionably late. As per usual, I don't care because I'm not going to keep buying more eyeshadow until I use up or at least make one video showing you guys the palettes I've talked about in this haul. So yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. I'm glad I filmed this so now I can put all this stuff away and uh, yeah, August... I'm planning on saving in August, so I'm not really planning on buying anything. The only thing I anticipate buying this month or the end of July is going to be the Pat McGrath foundation system. And I also bought the multi-chromes. I bought the rainbow set from the jeweled collection that they have. They had like 55 eyeshadows. I just bought one little set. It was like 155 Canadian dollars, which I think loosely translates into a lot of money in America too. And so I just, I just can't. I just need like a break because I'm like going broke buying eyeshadows and uh, I want to save for things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this gigantic haul. Leave me a, what is my favorite emoji of the moment? Leave me like the thinking emoji if you guys made it to the end. Cause I would love to know who you special snowflakes are. Thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you in my next one soon. Bye guys!